Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be helping you to fix DirectX setup could not download the file. Please read file later or check your network connection. So you might try to download uh, DirectX because you have trouble while gaming, playing game like Fortnite or Valorant or maybe due to any other reason. But in case if you are getting this error message and you're not able to download it, then I'm going to share for your effective solution and this is the updated solution that you won't find in any other videos on YouTube. I already made a research and found few best working solution for you. So make sure the video can be long guys because I'm going to share all the solutions so that you can go and return from here with a complete solution. Okay, now in the first method what you have to do you just need to make sure that you have the admin permission on your PC to make the changes and install DirectX. If you are on a standard user, if you do not have the full admin rights, you won't be able to install it. Okay, so what you have to do, how you can check that in the search box, type here control and choose control panel, then click on user accounts, user account again. And now here you will see your username and below that you will find whether you have the admin permission or not. If you have, then it will say administrator. And if not, then it probably show you the standard account. All right. So in case if it is standard or if it's not showing you administrator, then in that case, you need to uh, look for another video that how to get the admin rights or how to make an account administrative. All right. So just make sure this if you already have, then let's skip this part and move to the next step where you need to disable the firewall and your virus and threat protection. OK. So come to the search box now it will be applicable for both windows 10 and windows 11 so you can just click on the search bar or search icon and type firewall and from the suggestion choose firewall and network protection now here you will see domain network private network and public network so what you have to do in just need click on private network and just disable this option microsoft defender firewall now, after that, from the left hand menu, click on virus and threat protection. Virus and threat protection setting, click on manage settings. And disable everything from here. Now, keep in mind that after installing DirectX, you need to come to this uh, page again and you need to re enable all the security because this is very important to give you the protection against uh, the people, against the malware on the internet. Okay. So, now once done, just close it. And in the next step, you need to make sure that you have .NET Framework installed on your PC. Now, many users have the problem just because they do not have it or probably if they have it, then they have some trouble with .NET Framework. So I will be explaining you both. Okay, so how you can check that? Just press Windows and R key to bring up the run box on the left hand corner and type appwyz.cpl. And then click on OK. This will display the list of all the programs and the features. So look for .NET Framework. And in case if you do not find it, then I'm going to share the solution that how you can install it. But in case if you already have, if you can see here, then I will also let you know that how to repair it. OK, so first see that how you can install it. Just close it. Again, come to the search icon. Just type CMD and choose run as administrator a black window will be coming up now here you will find a code in the description box you need to copy that code and paste here and after that hit enter it will take some time to enable the feature you just need to wait until it's been completed and once completed you will get a message the operation completed successfully okay so this is now, this will be installed on your PC. Now in case if you already have .NET Framework, then you have to repair it. So you will be again getting a link in the description. You need to come to this website, to the Microsoft.com website. And here you will find this tool, .NET Framework Repair Tool. Click on it. And once downloaded, click on it. Just follow the steps. Recommended changes, hit next. Now it will automatically uh, just uh, repair your .NET framework. If there is any problem, then it will fix it. And after that, you can complete successfully install the DirectX. Once done, click on next. 
and it will collect the information then click on finish now before installing DirectX X, I would also recommend that just make some changes with your network because network can again be a cause behind this problem so you need to reset it so we will go again with a quick solution and after that we will be installing the DirectX now again come in the search box type CMD choose run as administrator a black window will be coming up here you have to type IP config again this, this code you will be getting in the description this command IP config space forward slash and then flush DNS hit enter so it will just flush the DNS the DNS cache and now we also need to reset the network so for that just type NETSH WinSock reset okay so you can see it says successfully reset the WinSock catalog you can restart the computer in order to complete the reset so now you have to restart the PC and after that once you restart we are ready to install it DirectX successfully okay so just close it and then just restart your PC now once your PC restart again you will be getting a link in the description just copy the link open it and you will come to this website so here we have to download DirectX and user runtime this version and choose the language from here and then click on download now it will take some time because it's 95 MB depending on your internet connection it will be downloaded so while it's been downloading what you have to do just come to your desktop make a right click or up to new and choose folder now rename it direct X new all right this is what you need to rename it now go back to download you can see that DirectX has been downloaded now just make a double click on it you will get the setup just click on yes now it will say please type the location where you want to place the extracted files click on browse so now as I have created the folder on my desktop so I will go to my desktop location and I will choose DirectX new the folder that I just created and then click on OK now click OK and now it will extract all the file on this folder so I will open this folder now so you will see all the file here the extract the Windsor file and now you need to scroll down and you will find DX setup.exe now make a double click on it the setup wizard would be coming up just hit on I accept the agreement hit next next and now it will be installing and I'm pretty sure that you won't be having any problem and it will install successfully on your PC <clears throat> and again this will be applicable for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 so you won't be having any trouble so wait for it until it's been completed and still if you see any problem if you see something else let me know in the comment section and I will surely help you and answer your questions and do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye bye